it's time for my Zone 9B weekly tour. So get ready for it. Hey, hey, hey. Welcome to my Zone B garden. And this is the weekly tour. And I like doing the weekly tours because I get to see and you get to see all the growth that has gone on for the week. So you may have seen some things yesterday and you can click the link above to see um, the video I posted uh, yesterday of just what I do on an ordinary day. Now look at this, down by my neighbor's house. Look at these beautiful flowers. I tried to transplant these flowers before, but it didn't work out for me. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. And you may see, I actually, I wanna say that I took these trellises down, but the honest to God truth is they fell down because I really kind of had them up there temporarily. I'm not ready to use them just yet. Y'all look at this, the wildlife here in Florida. See Mr. Lizard? I have a whole lot of lizards in the garden, and which is fantastic because I think they keep the slug population down. And here is the platform that I made um, to house another area in the garden. And I haven't really done anything with this except for I added these two buckets that I prepared yesterday. And those are also in the video from yesterday. And these are the sunflower seeds that I thinned out and haven't done anything with. I don't even know if they're viable at this point. <laughs> so um, I'm going to do something with that this week. In my mind, I said, I am going to do something with those this week. And here is the radishes. Yeah, I promised myself also to get a little bit closer in when I'm looking at these things so you can see. And here, look at that radish. This probably can be pulled, but not yet. The rest of them are kind of dwarfish. Y'all, I've been spraying for pests in different ways and I just used some soap and water on these radishes and the leaves did not like it, so I'm not gonna do that anymore. But I think they'll recover. I gave everything a good dose of fish emulsion today. And these are the second wave of radishes coming up as well. And then we get to the trellis and I call this the dream trellis here. And mostly I just kind of house some of the seedlings here, but here we have the beginnings of some okra. And they're looking quite nice. And I put some flowers down here at the bottom and this is a zinnia that's coming up. So those haven't popped up just yet. It's been really rainy, so I'm gonna see what happens with those. And here are my sugar baby watermelons. And I did put some Dimatious Earth on there because I'm just trying to be proactive with the pest and I don't want any vine borers to get into these vining plants. So I put some Dimatious Earth on there. It is supposed to rain today, so I'm not sure if uh, it is or not, because sometimes it says it's gonna rain and then it doesn't. But I decided to start being proactive and I probably put way too much on here. Because I have to uh, get me a little bit of a sprinkling system going. These are my zucchini and y'all they're getting big already. I already know I'm probably gonna have to take maybe two of these out. But y'all so hard to thin things out. They're like my babies. And then inside of the dream trellis here, you'll see we have our lettuce. Y'all look how perky this lettuce is. And it is like midday right now. Well, it's about 11 o'clock. And it's looking quite perky. And my sweet potato, still nothing came up. It's probably just rotting in the dirt down there. And then the carrots. And then I was thinking that there was some empty spots here, but there's actually some more carrots germinating right there. 
which is quite cool. I have some sweet potato slips waiting to go on the ground. I have some grow bags coming and I'm waiting for those. And then these are a deal. It didn't take long for those to come up. We have a tomato, which was a clipping and it's starting to grow quite beautifully. And I haven't trellised it yet because I want to put some basil in that pot as well. But what I did do today also was I did some mulching. So there was a lot of plants that needed some top mulching and so I did that and these are some of them. This is some spinach and then also some romaine lettuce and it's still going. And so I'll be eating those before they bolt. And then I have another tomato plant over here and it's doing well, but y'all look, the leaf miners. I sprayed neem oil yesterday and today, so hopefully that's going to help with the uh, leaf miners. And I also have a basil plant in there too. I have some more bell pepper plants that I think I'm gonna end up murdering. I don't really have anybody to give them to. And um, I already have like six, I have about six bell pepper plants planted already in their permanent spot, so. I don't know. They look so beautiful though, huh? I'm just going to keep them for now and I don't know. And then here we have some tomatoes. This is a uh, purple Cherokee, Cherokee purple. And this one is a brandy wine. Well, they're not A because <laughs> I overseeded the pots on purpose. So I definitely will have to thin those out because I'm only going to want one of these so i'll probably plant like two as a backup and then once they get going good i'll go ahead and murder murder the other ones <laughs> i'm i'm gonna be a plant murderer for the good of the team you know what i'm saying and then this is another cucumber plant and look y'all again those are leaf miners leaf miner damage on my poor little plants but those leaves can actually come out and this is probably another plant that's going to go down for the team because I already have plenty of cucumbers. Then on this side we have our okra and look how much the okra has grown and I've just put these in buckets uh, this week as well. And here is my squash plants and I put some dimaceous earth down on those. And back here are my cow peas. I started training them to trellis already. Y'all, these have not been down but a minute and they have fantastic growth. But again, the leaf miners are doing the takeover. So if you all have any suggestions for the leaf miners, I would appreciate it because obviously they're prevalent in my yard because can't get rid of them. Now here is my nasturtiums and I talked about it yesterday I actually tasted it and it was fantastic so now I want to grow more nasturtiums <laughs> and down here is some zinnias as well and I may have to thin those out also and then behind there I have some pepper plants and you can barely see them because they're kind of I kind of shaded them from the Sun with this temporary tarp so I'm gonna put up a, probably a permanent shade cloth this week, hopefully, and that way they can start getting some good sun. And then of course, the fantastic and beautiful, of course my air conditioning unit just came on, <laughs> but the fantastic and beautiful sunflower. Shall I look at this sunflower? I always focus on this one because it has such beautiful colors. I love it. Now what I did do today is down here is I did a no dig uh, bed here and I planted some more sunflowers today. I also put some wheat, uh, wheat flowers. I also put some wildflowers down that I got from the dollar store. So I just went crazy and just put, just smushed it all in. Not really smushed it, but sprinkled it in. So we're going to see how that comes out nothing to see there and y'all look at this i wanted to put a a marker here but since this is only a few inches of dirt i wasn't able to so i had to be creative i actually used some cans from my kitchen and i decorated them 
and I put one of my aloes that has been getting trampled in the walkway and I went ahead and I took off some of the bad leaves but y'all these aloes are like the comeback kids I finally got some um, potting soil that's made for cacti because I didn't realize that um, or for succulents and cacti I didn't realize that aloe was a succulent and so now it has the proper dirt and the proper drainage so you'll see that's going to come back quite nicely now over here I still have my watering thing in here so let me take that out which this is really nice and I'll put a link to this below but this actually is a moisture meter and since I was a new gardener and I didn't really know you know just sticking my finger in the soil if the soil was dry um, this has been very handy for me so I'm able to get a better gauge of how much moisture is inside of the soil so this works out for me it's called a lot power you don't have to put batteries in it or anything you just insert it and just keep it clean and it'll tell you um, I'll show you I'll demonstrate real quick you can see this is really wet because I watered it because my leaves were kind of dying off and you'll have an umbrella up here over this and I think it wasn't getting enough water even though it's been rainy every day so I had to uh, give it some water yesterday so it's probably over water now <laughs> all right and then if we go back here we have uh, my bean plants that are not doing so well so you can see the leaf minor damage there and also you see how the leaf is turning green i have to research that because i don't know if that's leaf spot i did take a ton of leaves off yesterday so the plants are still producing you can see i have some beans and these are contender uh, bush beans and then this is my um marigold plant and it even has leaf minor damage on it as well but there's no blooms yet and this um marigold doesn't seem to be doing as well as the other ones that i have planted and i did plant those from seeds also so that's all a learning learning thing with me but you can really see the leaf then look at that i'm gonna pull some more of those leaves off but this plant is practically uh bare so there's no no uh eatable vegetation on it right now um but i'm gonna leave it in i see some new leaves coming on and hopefully they won't get chomped on and then i have another bean plant down here and you can see just damage 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 but we still have edible uh veggies on here which i can probably take a few of those beans off today and then over on to this trellis here and I call this my Eden trellis because it was the first one that I did. And y'all look at the vines for the cucumbers. They are amazing. And they're doing exactly what I wanted them to do. I wanted them to grow on the trellis and I want them to be like shade for the things inside. So we'll see how that goes. Um, this plant is... I think I put this in about, I want to say about eight weeks ago. So it's doing really well. And it's actually starting, I believe, to make some um, cucumbers. I see one. Let's see if you can see it. Let's see what the cucumber is. Oh, y'all look. Look at that ant population on here, too. I wonder what y'all ants are doing. But in any case, <laughs> and then I have a marigold plant here, and it's doing really well. But again, no blooms. It might be because of the heat of the summer. I don't know. It's my first time growing them. And then I have some more cow peas here, which I will start training to go onto the trellis pretty soon. They popped up real quick. Y'all just planted these like last week. <laughs> this is like seven days of growth. It's crazy so I did treat some of these leaves with neem oil just to see because look I showed this in the video yesterday chomp chomp 
something has been eating on this plant I couldn't figure out what it was whatever it is I think it's gone because this plant is I mean those leaves are still surviving but I'm trying not to get too overzealous with taking leaves off that has damage on it but this one right here definitely I think that one can go and the plant should be okay I did put some dimaceous earth down on this one too but um, I think it's okay and let's go around this way oh I forgot we have an eggplant here and today I put the mulch in on here and I have to be careful about these leaves as well because I don't want the leaves to cover up my beautiful eggplant so they're very small and then we'll go on this side here um, if you look You'll see we have another cucumber yay y'all been looking for cucumbers all week <laughs> so we'll see what happens and then we have this multi-head sunflower and it is really blossoming today because we have some good sun right now it's gonna rain a little bit later isn't that beautiful I can't help but focus on the sunflowers they're wonderful and I put this uh, stick here it's just a bare stick from a tree I stuck this in here for some support and then let's look at our little banana plant it's like down in a little forest here and this is a miracle plant as well and it's like I think it's two plants and it is still no blooms but the leaves are fantastic I'm trying to get a good view of the banana plant for poster prosperity. <laughs> so next week when I look, I can see the growth. Then we have the tomato plant back here, and I have a piece of fruit that I can take off. Look at that, y'all. This plant is loaded, 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 and I still have to go back and take some of those leaf spot leaves off and treat for fungus and stuff. So that's on my to-do list. I keep a to-do list for the plants and then we have the other tomato plant and it's also bearing wonderful fruit as well it's hard for me to reach back there i actually have to go to the back of the cage and i'll show you in a minute and here look somebody didn't make it it's a bell pepper it's a small bell pepper and i think it fell off when i was treating for pests today as well but this plant has been doing very beautifully. You can see some very nice pieces of bell peppers. And then here, y'all love, I love running my hands through the carrot uh, tops. I think I'm gonna get some big carrots out of this one. I don't know about the beets, but the carrots are gonna be nice. They're spaced out really nicely, and it's only a few carrots in there. So that's kind of cool. And then we go over to this side, and we have our morning glories. Hey, morning glories. They are doing fantastic. I just mulched them today, so it's a messy mulch right now. And also, I was trying to keep the mulch off of this because it's a marigold. I planted a marigold in there as well. I'm going to plant more marigolds in the stir shrimps because I just like those. You should plant what you like. And then you can see the cucumber plant. I had to move the shade cover again today because this uh, plant is just going straight up. And I gave it some fish emulsion today too, so I expect uh, some fantastic growth for the week as well. Now you can really see, you know, look at this tomato plant. Look at all those baby tomatoes. And these are husky cherry tomatoes. I did buy my tomato plants as transplants and I bought them at Lowe's. Look at that. So pretty. very beautiful so we have tons of blooms on the cucumbers and I also have two more cucumber plants down here and I think I'm going to remove one I put dimaceous earth on those two but you know overkill can you say overkill 
So I'm at the back of the Eden cage and y'all look at this. Look at that. Leaf miner. If anybody can help with the leaf miners, I would greatly appreciate it. So this is the tomatoes. Very beautiful. And in each of the tomato plants, I put some basil. I did chop down some basil, I think, about a week ago. However, when we go over to this one, which has tons and tons and tons. This one has came out of the cage and it's like one day everything's in the cage and the next day it's not. I'm gonna have this tomato. Let me see if I can get it. Uh -oh. She dropped it, so I have one tomato to add to my collection. And then I have some more basil that I'm gonna chop down today because it's uh, it's a very tall and I don't want it to go to seed and I'm going to dry my basil. So that is the garden tour for this week. Everything is fantastic and beautiful. I'm loving the cucumbers and the carrots and all the colors that are in here and my little wildlife, <laughs> my lizards and bees and y'all, it's just fantastic. And I'm really going to be excited about this uh, new bed that I put in as well. And as you can see, I have put a ton of plants in. And I am getting some harvest, but I still have a ways to go um, for the growing season for the summer. So I have to be uh, very vigilant. So please make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And also leave a comment I would love to know your thoughts and if you have any ideas about the leaf miners I would love to know any constructive criticism is welcome so have a wonderful and beautiful day all